Kumar University of Science and Technology has graduated 1,319 students, 29 of whom with PhDs degrees. The State Minister for Primary Education, Dr. Joyce Moriko Kaduchu, officiated the graduation at the 23rd biggest public university in Uganda and cautioned graduates against contracting unnecessary behavior diseases like HIV or AIDS that will cripple their lives for life. Behavioral diseases are real. We do not want today to be witness of your celebration, but tomorrow to be called that we are burying our own because of lifestyle behavior, because of alcohol, alcohol consumption, which is now some, for some people order of the day, because of drug abuse, because of living reckless behavior, we are cautioning you. Do not tell us that we do not tell you. Minister Kaduchu also lectured them about life, where she warned them against choking over excitement. Life is not a race, a journey that requires you to take a step one at a time. You are going out, don't get over excited. If you think it is a race and you start running, you forget not only where you are going, but even where you have come from us, you will have forgotten. This has been the 28th graduation ceremony from Barra University of Science and Technology. She applauded the university for upholding the core values for which it was built. I want to pledge our support. We will continue to ensure Barara University upholds its key values and integrity as the University of Science and Technology. Kaducho Father assured scientists that government has since earmarked resources to start paying them before it embarks on paying artists. The payment of this will commence this coming financial year. The government of Uganda has committed to start paying the scientists come financial year 2020 to 2023. And later on, we get also the apps on board. So I want to commit that the government has provided resources for wages, so salary increment for our staff. The University Vice Chancellor, Professor Celestino Obua, raised concerns facing the institution, which among include funding. But in response, Minister Kadushu said, now government through the COVID-19 struggles, it will avail them funds as soon as possible. We all know the challenges that came with COVID. And now that we are getting to recovery process, I want to believe that the good Lord that saw us through the period of COVID will indeed see us to recover and get these most needed resources.